Are you sure you should be reading other people's letters? I'm gonna die in a few months. I should be allowed that much. Well, I'd expected as much. By the time I'd read all the letters in the capsule, the only isolated name was mine. And Miss Himeno's letter is nowhere to be found. If only Himeno's letter were there, if hers were there, surely she'd have written my name. I should hope you understand now. You ought not to cling on to your past relationships, as you have just neglected all of them. Did you ever send Miss Himeno a single letter? After high school, did you once contact Mr. Naruse? Why did Miss Wakana abandon you? Did you show up to any class reunions? Pardon the remark, but don't you feel that clinging on to the past now is asking for too much? Well then, what do I even cling to when both the past and future are shut off from me? No way. The last train was... <sighs> Sorry. We're spending the night here. Find some way to kill time. Probably. I was just... confused. That moment, I had the sudden impulse to do something terrible to Miyagi. I've got a question for you. Yes? Once an observer finds their subject doing an inappropriate act, how much of a lag is there before their lifespan's terminated? And why would you be asking? Basically, if I were to get violent with you right here, I want to know how long it did take before I would be killed. Contact can be made instantly. After that, it wouldn't take 20 minutes. An escape would be completely impossible. So I'd have about some ten some minutes to act freely. <gasps> Nobody said anything like that. Was I really going to push Miyagi down, pin her on the floor, and use her to fulfill my desires? If I did, maybe I would injure her. Maybe I'd be adding another wound, like the big one on her knee. Maybe I would take even more light from her nearly pitch black eyes. Maybe once it was all over, she'd just make a sarcastic remark as if totally unfazed. Were you satisfied? Must be a nasty job, having to deal with garbage like me all the time. Your understanding is appreciated. Dangerous job. There's no shortage of guys like me, I bet. Guys who go nuts when they're about to die and take their anger out on their observer. As a matter of fact, you are more of an easy case. There have been many who go to much further extremes. Why would you take such a job? To put it simply, because I had to. That's all. Tell me the not simple version. I would have thought you had no interest in anyone but Miss Himeno. <laughs> That's not true at all. If I didn't see any charm in you, I wouldn't have considered what I did earlier. Is that right? Thanks, I suppose. You don't have to talk. If you don't want to. No. Well, I have nothing particularly to hide in my past. I already told you that one can sell not just lifespan, but also health and time. Yes? Hmm. In short, I sold my time. Roughly 30 years of it. Most of the observers are people who come to the shop like you and choose to sell their time. Though by doing so, they effectively sold their safety and relationships as well. If you sold 30 years, that means you'll be free in your 40s? Indeed I will. Of course, that's only... Assuming I survive to see it. Why would you need money that bad? What if I told you it's not very interesting? 
<laughs> oh well, there's still time until the train comes, I suppose. When my mother became an observer and vanished from my sight, I recall I was only six years old. To this day, I do not quite understand her reason for selling decades of time to buy more lifespan. It seemed she was always dissatisfied with the reality she lived in. I hated that miserable mother of mine, and she hated me in turn. I wish this sorry excuse had never been born. She frequently reminded me. A few years into being an observer, when I was age 10, she died. I'm unsure of her exact cause of death, but it's clear she was killed by an observation subject. As much as you may extend your lifespan, injury and illness are another matter entirely. When I first heard that, I wondered if that wasn't considered fraud. The man who informed me of her death told me something else of importance. You have a debt. The enormous debt my mother left. There are only three ways for you to pay it back now. Sell your lifespan, sell your time, or sell your health. Those are your options. So then, you pick time. Indeed, and that brings me to today, living as an observer. It's a lonely line of work with many dangers, but for what it's worth, it has given me deep insight into people's lifestyles and the value of life. Thinking of it in those terms, it's not such a bad job. I don't get it. I think I'd just sell off a life like that. Even if you do make it to the end, the best times of your life will be over, facing all this pain and then starting your life at 40. I would just call that a tragedy. So it'd be better to sell it. If my lifespan were actually worth anything, certainly I would do so. What's it worth? The same as yours. 10,000 yen per year. If I've been overly harsh with you, I believe it's because of how you overlap with myself. So I apologize for taking it out on you. Well, I don't want to be rude, but isn't that even more reason to just die already? It means there's nothing to look forward to. Yes, you're right. <laughs> you're absolutely right. And yet, I suppose I can't do so. In essence, because I take after my mother, who bought lifespan and clung to hope. I'm an irreconcilable fool. There's no point in living, yet I'm compelled to survive. But... You see, it's not that simple. Perhaps something good will happen someday, don't you think? I know a guy who died saying that to himself and getting nothing out of it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so do I. Seeing Miyagi relaxing for the first time, I told myself, I'll at least have her remember me as the easiest subject to be around. <coughs> hey, you know, right? About what Himeno is like now. Could you tell me? It will be harsh. Yeah, yeah. I still want to know. Understood. Then I will tell you about Miss Himeno's life over the ten years you've been apart. <laughs> 